In this video, we will show how to use Apple School Manager with Meraki Systems Manager to set up shared iPad so multiple users can sign into one iPad and access their unique apps, data, profiles, and settings. Step one, configure the individuals and classes on Apple School Manager's portal. Log into Apple's portal, then click on the individuals tab and make sure you can see all of your students and teachers. If not, feel free to contact Apple on the best practices to import your entire database of students. For this demonstration, I've built four individuals, three students, and one teacher. Now, I need to build a class. So I'll click on the Classes tab and build a class. This class is Earth Science, and it contains all four of those users. The teacher is set as the teacher, and the students are set as students of this class. Step two. Log into your Meraki dashboard and sync the Apple School Manager owners. From your Meraki dashboard, click on Systems Manager, Configure, Owners. From the Owner Management page, click on Sync ASM on the top right. This will pull in all the individuals, or owners as we call them in Meraki, into the Meraki dashboard. When the sync is complete, you will see your Apple School Manager individuals. From this page, you can also view the classes that each individual is in. We set a T if they're a teacher and an S if they're a student of that class. Step three, create the education profile and scope it to your iPads. Head to Systems Manager, MDM Settings. Here, we're going to create a new Meraki managed profile. You can give it a name like Classroom Configuration, scope it, for all devices or tags if you choose. Click on Add Settings, More iOS, and then Education. To make things easy, you can just click the checkbox, Use ASM. It will automatically put those individuals in their class. Here you see Earth Science sets those three students as the students and the teacher as the teacher. Once you confirm everything looks good, save the profile. Now we are ready to prepare our iPads as shared iPads. This is a DEP setting, so let's go to Systems Manager, DEP. I want to prepare these three iPads that are empty, so I'm going to click the checkbox next to each one of these, and then go up to Assign Settings. I'm going to make a new preset and call it Shared iPad DEP. For more information on what each one of these DEP settings do, please look at documentation.meraki.com. For now, the one that we are interested in is Shared iPad, so I will check Shared iPad. I'm also going to skip some settings that I don't want to see during the iOS Setup Assistant, and when I'm finished, I will press Assign to three devices. Now, the devices change to Orange Assigned, which brings us to our next step. Step 5. Power on the iPads for the very first time, or factory reset the devices if they're already in use. After you connect to Wi-Fi for the very first time, you'll see a screen like this where it says your organization will automatically configure your device. Click next and continue through the setup. After iOS is finished loading, the end user will receive this screen where they need to type in their Apple ID and password. This is not any Apple ID and password though. This needs to be one of the managed Apple IDs that you created on Apple School Manager. If you don't know the password, or it's your first time logging in, log in to Apple School Manager, click on the individual, and click on Sign In Info. Here you can print or email the password to the end user. The end user will type in the password that Apple generates for them, and then they'll be brought to another screen where they can make their own password. This is the password they will use for the Apple ID in the future. After they create their password, they're brought to the home screen on the iOS device. You'll notice at the very top, it will show the student's first name and last name that is logged in. Also, inside settings, they will automatically be signed into their iCloud account. That's a really great feature because anytime this user logs out of their device, all of their app's data is backed up to iCloud. Then, another user can take that same exact iPad and sign in, and then that new student will have all of their unique iCloud information pulled in as well. Step six, 
The teacher iPad can now control the student iPads. So when the teacher logs in with one of their managed Apple IDs, they can open the Apple Classroom app and then see all of the students as online. This gives the teacher the ability to force students inside a certain app or view their screens and make sure they are staying on track. Using the Apple Classroom app gives the teachers a lot of potential here to manage their students and the devices with a really easy to use app and interface. To really get the most out of Shared iPad, I really recommend following this next step. Because all of the owners are syncing in with all the classes that they're a member of, and also if they're a teacher or a student, we can now use this to our advantage. You can take the tags that are automatically generated with Systems Manager to show different apps, profiles, restrictions, and home screens depending on who is logging into the device. Here I have one iPad, but two separate users are logging into it. One is a teacher, the other is a student. Because of this, I can use Meraki Systems Manager to show totally different apps, profiles, restrictions, and home screen layouts for each user signing in. Using these steps, you can really get the most out of an iPad cart situation or any situation that you need multiple users to share an iPad. Thanks for watching and please enjoy using Cisco Meraki Systems Manager in conjunction with Apple School Manager.